Well, the mother of a 17-year-old says her son was a straight-A student whose life was changed when he began to run around with the wrong crowd. Police say he took part in a crime that also changed the lives of a Beaumont couple. This morning, Caleb Nathaniel Baker pled guilty to robbery and evading arrest. Investigators say he drove the getaway car following a home invasion. Fox 4's Ashley Gaston has more with our top story. Martha Baker walked out of the courtroom crying. Her 17-year-old son is wearing shackles and handcuffs inside the courtroom. Caleb feels terrible. He says he wished that he would have never got in that car with those boys. It was one day in the middle of June that Baker says forever changed her son's life. They said they were going to go pick some stuff up from somebody's house. Caleb doesn't didn't know these boys all that well. Investigators call Caleb Baker the driver of the getaway car. He drove to this house in the 1600 block of East Drive in Beaumont. Caleb told his mother he waited in the car while three men carrying guns and a bat forced their way inside, threatened the couple that lives there and robbed them. Caleb said, you know, I didn't realize, you know, what they were up to until the last minute. And it was too late. Bless her. It's, it's actually an emotional rape. You could see it in her face, mm -hmm. you know, even though she wasn't physically in that way. It's still the same thing. They invaded her safety net, her, you know, her zone. Carlina Frittle spoke to Fox 4 News in June. She ran to help the couple after the attackers stole a silver car from the driveway and left. Baker led police on a chase for several miles. Eventually, he got out of the car and ran. Police dogs and their handlers found Baker and arrested him. Officers also found a stolen 40 caliber pistol. Baker says her son regrets everything. He writes her continuously and says, you know, just pray that the law forgives me and that God forgives me. Now Baker will wait in jail until his sentencing hearing. Baker's mother says his goal is to return to high school and complete his senior year. In Beaumont, Ashley Gaston, Fox 4 News. Judge John Stevens will sentence Baker September 16th. Baker faces anywhere from a probation to 10 years in prison for both charges.